ओके सो आई वॉज हैविंग अ कपल ऑफ इशूज़ वाल इम्पोर्टिंग सी एस पी फाइल्स इन टू माई एस क्यूल वर्क बेंच द फर्स्ट इशू वॉज दैट इन सम फाइल आई वॉज नॉट एबल टू अपलोड इट एट ऑल एंड द सेकंड इशू वॉज दैट इन सम पर्टिकुलर फाइल आई वॉज एबल टू अपलोड बट इट वॉज मिसिंग सम टू हंड्रेड थ्री हंड्रेड ऑट रोज सो लेट्स जस्ट सी वॉट आर द इशूज इन दोज फाइल्स इफ आई गो टू दिस नॉर्मल सी एस पी इट वॉन्ट इवन गेट अपलोडेड सी इट वुड गिव दिस एरर एंड आई लुकड अप अलॉट वॉट दिस एरर इज एंड हाउ दिस कैन बी सॉल्व बट आई वॉज नॉट एबल टू फाइंड मई सोल्यूशन आई डेट फाइंड सम सोल्यूशन बट दे डेंट वर्क एंड सो हो आई फाउंड अ वर्क अराउंड एंड लेट्स जस्ट सी हाउ सी वॉट दैट वर्क अराउंड इज बिफोर दैट ऑल्सो लेट्स जस्ट सी द अदर इशू विच इज दैट आई एम एबल टू इम्पोर्ट बट इट इज नॉट हैविंग इन अफ रोज सी दिस एम एस एस क्यूल फाइल नेक्स्ट 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 If we uh, see this file in the fold, folder, this MS SQL file open. Let's just open with numbers. See, this one has nine thousand nine hundred four rows, and let's just see what it is giving when I'm importing it. See, nine six nine four rows imported. A whole three hundred rows are missing. So, this is another issue. So let's just drop this table and see what can be done really. Mm, drop table. Fine. Yeah. So the solution I found is first you have to convert this into JSON file. So take your CSV. and uh, this is any csv to json converter you can just google it and take the first option and uh, csv to json and uh, this got converted and then download the result it got saved in the downloads folder and uh, and uh, let me just take it from to here yeah so i have got a json file now and uh, my sql workbench does allow you to uh, import the json file but even in i don't know if i am doing something wrong or what but uh, it does allow to import but it does not import any rows it just imports the structure uh, so let me just show you what i am talking about um, so this is a json file i have uploaded it this this see it will show all the rows here and the data types are uh, configured probably as well next 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 but zero records imported possibly i am doing something wrong but uh, i don't know for now but uh, this is the work around so we have the structure now see normal csv if we try to run it it will show this structure there are no rows but the column headers are there now what can be done is you have to run this python code i will provide you this python code in the description Uh, you will have to uh, install this also uh, this library and then <coughs> you have to uh, mention these variables and in your host you have to give your host for me it is local host for most of you also it would be local host only unless you have changed it the change the default it won't be anything else and a user also the same thing it would be root if you haven't changed it and the database would be uh data base would be what you have named and that you can see here i have named it as db because i was in habit of that and uh, your password you have to mention your password that you created while uh, installing the my my sql workbench and uh, for me uh, i can't show you the password that's why i have stored the password in some variable pass underscore word but you can just simply write your password uh in uh, inverted in quotes okay so you have to give all these four information then you have to give the file path to your csv and uh, for me the C the csv file this time the csv file not the json and uh, you have to copy the file path this file path name just paste it here this is uh, the file path and uh, uh in windows it's slightly different the slashes are 
uh, not forward slashes they are backward slashes and you'll have to change the backward slashes to double backward slashes uh, so you can see that and do that and the this is the second thing that needs to be changed in the code and then uh, there is this third thing which is this query variable this needs this uh, command insert into my table name and then the names of the column and then as many this uh, percentile uh, percentage symbol and percent symbol and s as many columns are there so this would be a bit hectic of, hectic of a thing to do especially if there are too many rows so i would just ask i just asked chat gpt that i am trying to import uh, this uh, file to csv the csv file to mysql workbench and uh, then i just wrote the code this is nothing i just wrote this sentence i am trying to import csv file to mysql workbench with the following python code the simple line and then the code which was already written in the uh, python uh, jupyter notebook just now and then then i told it that my rows are like following and i just copied these rows from my file like uh, this i would just copy control c and uh, gave it here so these are my rows and my table name is normal under, underscore csv uh, this was the name right yeah normal underscore csv so i just asked it can you please just provide with query variable and then it did provide me with the query variable and i copy the i copied the query variable and i would go to here and just paste it like this okay uh, everything else seems fine i hope i don't get an error see no error and uh, fingers crossed let's just go here uh, it is still showing this but if we run it once again voila we have got all the rows and not uh, just 9694 rows but 9994 rows you can see here the 99 it has 9994 rows uh, yeah so this is the workaround and the data types are fine as well it has a column sales so if i just run a sum of sales from normal underscore csv it would work see so the data types are fine as well and if it was not visible to you that all the rows have been imported i'll just show you select count one from so normal underscore csv see 9994 rows so this is the workaround uh, nothing too difficult the code i'll give you just copy it and change the fields to three fields and uh, you'll be good to go